on a January health kick. James Martin's got just the thing for you now. I bet it's not as healthy as we think it is. It's a salad, but not as you know it. It's chicken. It's, 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 there's, there's no butter in this. You wait till you see the crouton, there's guys. There's no butter. We're going to start off with a crouton, <laughs> OK? So the crouton, piece of bread. Start off with a, a nice, decent-sized crouton. That's your crouton. <laughs> right? That's yep. the crouton. All right. So next, I'm going to talk about the chicken. Now, this is roast chicken on a on a crouton base, okay. but we're going to spatch cook the chicken. Okay, very I'm very easy. Half the cooking time, more or less. So chicken like this, this size, about an hour and a half, 45 to 50 minutes. This and the other one, you spatch cook it. So once you start off with the chicken, turn it over, and you're cutting out about an oh. inch through there. So you want a proper pair of scissors. So snip through, right the way through. Sorry. I've got all this noise going on in my ear. <laughs> yeah. There's no uh, glamorous uh, way of doing what? this. Hang on, but you're now cutting again. So well, I'm just taking this little part of nose off because I don't really want it on there. That glues that out of the way. All right. Then you take the chicken like that. Yeah, this isn't going to be a great noise. Fold it by over. The way, for any and veggies. Press. Like that. Yeah. Then what you do with the chicken is you get a knife and we cut cut some slices of it. The reason why that, you get lots of flavour into that, but you're reducing the cooking time down again. Yeah. So instead of an hour and a half, you take that. Yeah. Put it on top of your crouton. All right. So elegant. It is. <laughs> I love this show. It just, you can be, you know, like this. <laughs> so I wash my hands. Then, what was that Frenchie called earlier on? That... <laughs> the whip, the what? The little Frenchie, Frank, Frank the oh, Frenchie. Oh, no, yeah. let's not think about him right now. <laughs> so lemon on there. Rosemary. So sprigs of rosemary over the top. <laughs> then I've got some fresh thyme. <laughs> Why does it look so funny? It just does. What do you mean? It just looks funny. It looks like it's in a sort of a spa bath. You need to get out more. I right. Do. <laughs> Black pepper. I really do. <laughs> Black pepper, some salt, and then some oil. So a little bit of uh, olive oil over the top, like that. Now, set the oven, 200 degrees, and then we're going to roast this. But we're going to roast it with this bacon. Now, you're tasting this bacon I'm that we've got in here. there. Yeah, I've been tasting In amongst the bacon this, this amazing morning. bacon. I want you to introduce it. This is uh, Emmett's store this bacon comes from. It's the oldest artisan uh, bacon and ham producer in the UK. Uh, it's wow. based in Suffolk, 1820 all started. And really? the bacon is unbelievably wow, good. it really it is. is. Unbelievably good. It is. And you can tell the quality of the bacon. It's dry cured. It's beautiful. It's like this. And we just take our bacon all over the top. So we start this year as we ended last year. Like that. That's beautiful. Then, see, it looks better now. Then what it we do is pop it... It's a salad, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it isn't a salad yet, but it's, it's getting there. Then what you do is pop it in the oven for, for about 55 minutes to an hour. Mm -hmm. An hour. It'll want something like that. So wash my hands again. Now, on with the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, really straightforward, to make your own mayonnaise. I'm allergic to mayonnaise, so I've got to make my own mayonnaise. Are you? Yeah. That what, and kiwi what, what fruit. What are you allergic to? Uh, it's an acid that's in uh, mayonnaise that they have in kiwi fruit. Oh, really? And, yeah, really badly allergic to it. So, oh, wow. make my own. So, cackle bean eggs that we talked about, they're really nice. You, you, you can get really good quality eggs. You can see from the yolks over here. Dijon mustard. And then we add vegetable oil. Is it just the yolks that you put in there? This is just the yolks that gives just the colour. Yeah, just the yolks. So, you, you're basically just blending this together. Now, it's really, really easy. Once you learn how to make your own mayonnaise, it's really simple. Does it last? How long does it last for? Couple of weeks. Really? Salad cream is done exactly the same way, but it's hard boiled egg yolks. I remember you said So, that's what I in here would be hard boiled egg yolks, touch of vinegar, and you pour in oil like I'm doing now, finish it with a little bit more vinegar, maybe a touch of cream, and that's salad cream. That's mad. Or you can buy it, but if you're allergic to it, you've got to make your own. You've got to but make your it's own. It's so much better to make your own mayonnaise, particularly for this, because this is where we're going to flavour this, because this is this Caesar salad S. This, yeah. This... yeah, yeah. Sort of lovely dressing. So, and it's amazing how many egg yolks will a bottle of oil will take. Two egg yolks will take about a litre of veg oil. Two? Two egg yolks. Wow. One litre. What, um, what olive oil would you be using then? You don't use olive oil. You must use a, a, an oil that doesn't taste of anything. So, oh, vegetable okay. oil, grapeseed oil, okay. something like that, veg oil. So, that goes in here. Now, the garlic side of it, there's a little bit of anchovy in here. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Only a, only a tiny little bit. The garlic. Have, you, have you had a bit of anchovy? Have they cut it out I of got, yours? No, they, oh, no, I haven't got that in there. So no, the garlic for that. this... No, I didn't put it in yours, but the garlic for this... I put it in the dressing, but not in there. That's all right. The garlic for this, you cook the garlic, um, and you can either roast it, which I've got in here. When you squeeze it, it looks like something you get on YouTube. No! Oh. That pimple popper, that one. Yuck! Oh, <laughs> God, no! <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. You see, not the ones that you watch. Somebody's got I that on the back, those. on the back of the leg, whatever it is, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> anyway that's in your dressing. That is so gross. You take Why that roasted garlic that? Or, or you cook the garlic in a little bit of milk and you end up with this amazing dressing, all right? Yeah. Then what you do is you take your chicken and we can start to assemble this up. So this is, you can use the roasted garlic. This has been in the oven for about 50 minutes in tin foil. Let's stop talking about that. It tastes, it tastes amazing. <laughs> and then, then what you do is you grab yourself your chicken. I haven't see? found any chicken in here yet. Have you not? I've got loads. There is chicken in here. No, there is, here. I can see at the back. So you can portion this up if you want, but you see you pop your chicken on like this. But the money shot is this crouton. Because look, this, this is roasted chicken juice crouton. This in a salad takes it to a different level. Wow. All right? Oh, it does. So then what you do is you get your salad leaves, and we've got... This is a selection of it, different salad leaves you can get from the supermarket nowadays. And, and the great thing about uh, chicory, um, red endive, that kind of stuff, you end up with an amazing flavour from it, but a slight bitterness from it as well. Mm. These so, are very... These are lovely leaves. Yeah, amazing. Uh, They're so chicory. beautiful. But you've got a bit of watercress over here. And you can use this sort of this Italian sort of classic sort of chicory endive. It's slightly bitter, so you just pop this on here. You've got the bacon and everything else. Then you take your crouton, because we don't waste any of this. And you then chop up your crouton that's been cooked that's with so your chicken. And you get this crispy crouton that you can pop on there with it. And then the dressing side of it, you can leave this going, but also what you can do is you can take the pan juices from here. What, that haven't been soaked up by the yeah. bread? And you can pop those in the dressing. <laughs> so you're wasting nothing. The whole That's thing amazing. goes in and it loosens it all down. A little squeeze of vinegar or lemon in there as well with the garlic. And you've got this rich, creamy dressing that you're going to lift up and sprinkle that. That is a seriously elevated salad, isn't it? It's a bit... A bit delicious, isn't it, really? But it's, it's a, just it's a, a, it's a roast chicken. In disguise. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I mean, there is so much flavour in there. There's so even, much even from the choice of lettuce. Yeah, there's so much flavour in there. And yeah, I'm, what I'm going to get you for Christmas is I'm going to get you a, a peeler next year because this one's rubbish. Oh. Uh, but <laughs> but look, we're going to get. I wish we'd known a couple, <laughs> couple of weeks ago. <laughs> look, we're going to get that. I think then... we don't, maybe we don't have to wait till Christmas. And, <laughs> and then the best bit about this, look, is you've got. If you, if you want the best dish ever, you've got a bacon sandwich. You should just whack it in the fried bread. <laughs> <laughs> for the Flintstones! Like that. It's That's a bacon a... sandwich for a Flintstone. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> but, but roast chicken, warm roast chicken salad, I think it's lovely. But you've used everything. You've, Thank you've, you. You've wasted that on really amazing. is special. Amazing. Thank you. Details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free this morning app.